Well, yesterday the Minister of Science and Technology, Minister Naledi Pando, unveiled the first prototype of a hydrogen fuel cell forklift and a refueling station at the Impala Platinum in Springs in east of Johannesburg. Now, the Department of Science and Technology, through the High SA System Center of Competence at the University of the Western Cape, as well as the Impala Refining Services, they joined forces in developing this prototype. We speak to the Director General from the Department of Science and Technology, live from our Pretoria studios. He is Mboneni Move. Bomboneni Ndi Machironi. The Machironi of the Palace. Just first to correct something, I'm the Deputy Director General. Deputy Director General, uh, our apologies yes. right there. But then, you know, as I'm reading my introduction, I get lost along the way. Can you just explain to us what this hydrogen fuel cell is? So, so let me just basically to explain it very simply. Uh, when you drive a car, you're going to need petrol. Uh, and, and so the fuel cell is really an alternative to that. So instead of having petrol or diesel, you're using um, the fuel cell as your power source. So that's basically what it is. So what, what initiated this development? Yeah, we, we have initiated this program a long time ago um, to look at hydrogen as an alternative source of energy. And this is because, uh, as you know, South Africa is home to about 80% of the world's platinum. So when you use fuel cells, you actually also are using platinum. So you, you benefit, benefit your own uh, mineral resources. That's a one thing. The other thing, obviously, is the drive to move towards cleaner energy sources. We know that... Uh, the current energy sources that we have are quite dirty, so to say, in terms of the impact on the environment. So this is really our move to go into alternative energy sources and also cleaner ones for that matter. So this means that we might see more of this uh, initiative in the future? That's why we're doing this thing. So we, the launch of the first prototype is really just to show that the technology works. And we're hoping that, if, in fact, within Impala Platinum itself, they want to um, move into having their forklifts using fuel cells. And uh, we're hoping, as we engage with other players, that other mining houses will follow suit. And how, does, uh, uh, how, how do they differ, the fork forklifts, how do they differ from the normal ones that we used to? Yeah, this is a very interesting one because we even did a demonstration. So you... You get the forklift that uses diesel to start, and the first thing you see is this huge smoke that comes out, the smell that accompanies it, the noise that you hear. Whereas in this uh, fuel cell powered one, it's very quiet, there is no fumes. The only uh, byproduct that you get there is water, and we know that water is uh, quite friendly to the environment. So it has a lot of health implications in terms of. Um, if you imagine having a number of these uh, forklifts working in, an con in a confined space. So you really, when we move into fuel cells, you're actually moving into a much, much cleaner approach to the environment. Mm -hmm. But also what we have uh, seen is the convenience and the cost that goes with it. Um, most of the players use either diesel or, 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 or electric battery uh, forklift. And when you have to talk about uh, refueling of the uh, battery ones, you're talking about eight hours charging period. Mm -hmm. And with the hydrogen one, it's about 15 minutes, and you probably will not charge again for the next two uh, to three days. Yeah, it is fuel environmentally uh, friendly. But on the uh, economic perspective of things, how uh, will this benefit the economy as a whole? We are looking, the, the real reason why we do this is because we know that it impacts throughout the value chain, which looks at manufacturing, the design, etc. So we have done this with a number of small local companies uh, that have been used in designing and in manufacturing uh, the fueling station and also the components that go into the fuel cells. So you can imagine that when we've got those manufacturing happening locally, we're going to be creating employment. Uh, we're going to be um, also making sure that there is, instead of us importing some of these technologies, we're going to be uh, just uh, manufacturing and buying locally. So are you saying that uh, these forklifts, they're only available at the Impala Platinum for now? For now, the prototype is housed at Impala Platinum. Are you mainly focusing on the uh, platinum, platinum mines or any other uh, mine? That was the partnership that we started. So we're looking at this expanding. I mean, you know, there are so many retail shops that use forklift. So we're hoping that that will grow. It will also 
we're eyeing the other mining houses. I mean, there are other mining houses that we're talking to, just that we cannot at this stage divulge who uh, we're talking to and what direction are at this point in time. Now, Kosianga, we do know that the issue of job creation is of crucial importance to the country. Will the initiative, you know, in a way create jobs for South Africans? Yeah, the biggest creator of jobs really is uh, if you manufacture, and that's really what we're driving towards. And part of what we're looking at is really that when you manufacture locally, you are going to create jobs. And they, I talk about the value chain. When a lot of these are also using foil cells, this is also going to um, impact on the mining of platinum because they use platinum. So again, ultimately, that means you preserve or even create more jobs in the mining sector in the form of mining of platinum. Well, Bom Boneni Rekorebuanga Manda. There you have it. That's the Deputy Director General of the Science and Technology Department. And Bonini will be talking to us about this a proto prototype initiative whereby the forklift, forklifts are using water instead of your normal fuel. Well, we're taking a break when we come back.